Broadcasting from the Hyatt Regency in Seattle, Washington, Solutions Review is on location at the FME User Conference 2025, the peak of data and AI. Brought to you by Safe Software. We're back with Henning and Florian from Conterra, one of the, I would say, an elite partner, 30 year partnership with Safe Software, uh, delivering uh, in, in Europe, yes, pretty much, or worldwide? Yeah, we're based in Germany, but we also got a, like a sister company that's working out of Spain. So yeah, but that's our core markets, Germany and Spain. Germany and Spain. So, as I understand it, we have both sales and operations with us. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and so walk me through, if I'm a customer, kind of the flow that happens for someone and how you have started to effectively extend operations now to, uh, to include no. some higher levels of service uh, that you're offering. So, so walk us through kind of where Conterra is starting to expand to. Well, basically when we talk to customers, I mean, our primary goal is just to introduce FME and our, our services as well. And what we noticed over the like past probably couple of years is that there is a increasing demand for hosted solutions and uh, operational services so that customers don't have the resources anymore to to uh, set up the systems maintain the systems and uh, that's where we saw like maybe better to uh, like offer this as a service to our customers to have not just the like um, the, the licensing, obviously, and the, the, the uh, consulting, but also to host the uh, solutions for our customers. And yeah. Well, that makes sense because a lot of customers um, don't want to have to build all the infrastructure or handle all that, or and so they can simply outsource it now to to your team. And uh, so, tell us a little bit about what you're what you're offering for customers. Um, yeah, so we do offer a wide range of um, different options covering um, operational support for the customers because like we we live from standardization because without standardization and using synergies we, our business model wouldn't work. Um, but still every customer is very individual and different. So some customers just need operational support in their own environment. So we're still doing that, um, still in the, in the infrastructure of the customer because it might be pretty res uh, a restricted, uh, restricted um, branch uh, that still could be possible. And on the other hand, uh, on, on, on that range is maybe um, a customer that really needs to shift as, as, as much responsibilities and, and operations activities towards us. So sometimes uh, the customer doesn't even touch FME um, itself, and uh, we're just providing the the workflow, right? The service. Um, yeah, that's like the range we're we're working in, and like within this range, every every um, yeah everything is possible. <laughs> yeah, that's a good answer, but it yeah. sounds like something he'd say, the sales guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it, it really is like this because. Um, Many use cases uh, we, we um, realize with our customers really, really differ a lot, right? Um, it's really like that. And um, what we are doing right now is uh, establishing a wider range of um, cloud providers and partners we are working with because in uh, Germany and, and Europe in general, uh, the need for uh, independence and digital sovereignty is increasing as well. So. Uh, People do want to work with not only German service providers, but with um, German or European infrastructure as well. So there's also um, the drive currently to move to European infrastructure, for example, to cloud providers uh, from yeah, Germany or, or Europe. Um, let's call it like the Stacked Cloud or the Delos Cloud by SAP, uh, Ionos from One and One. That's these are some some uh, options we are working with currently. Yeah. So, where are you seeing traction for Conterra? I mean, what is the uh, what does the market look like? How have you uh, how have you been proceeding since we last spoke uh, a year and a half ago? I think so. I mean, there's been lots of changes. Uh, yeah. That's for sure. And uh, the the trends we're seeing that the market obviously is growing. I mean, the, the demand for data integration is only increasing. Um, so we see. Yeah, bright future ahead of us still, and um, 
I guess the changes for the since the past like so we almost two years ago already so I think the changes but before you already mentioned the drive towards like cloud solutions is still increasing so the classical on-prem deployment is still still there it will be there yeah but it's uh, definitely the cloud solutions are picking up and um, yeah, so this is where we are very active and the, what I find interesting is um, that we don't really see a pattern for these demands right? from, from enterprise companies down to municipalities. They all look for something like how can we outsource things to, 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 to you guys because uh, yeah, short, shortness of, uh, of people is, is an issue in Germany, like the, everybody's looking for, for staff. Uh, so yeah, that's that's another opportunity. That's a that's good. That's a good problem, I guess. Uh, for for us, it's a good for problem, you. Yes. <laughs> so, so how do people how do people find Contero? What is the uh, what is the sales process? I mean, how how are you doing it? And uh, you know, where where do you wh what types of companies are you getting most traction with? Um, well, we do attend a lot of conferences. Uh, luckily, that's possible after after a few years where we had to stay at home in the pandemic. But, right. Uh, so now, now you're getting out. And now about. we're getting out there. Like yeah. we do attend like I don't know twenty to twenty five conferences a year. And are, are those successful? Yeah. For lead yeah, generation. They, I mean, it depends a little bit on the conferences, but. Uh, sure. Uh, for some some conferences where like we went to an Esri show a few weeks ago because we're we're an Esri partner as well and um, basically I, I had a presentation I asked the crowd like so how who who does not know FME and it was like 150 people and just one person raising their hand <laughs> so everybody in, wow. in that crowd was already um, using FME but they all looking for services so they all had a need for for services in the terms of where could we help, them, especially in topics like BIM GIS integration and things like that. But other shows like, I mean, <laughs> might be even just industry focused solutions like Fiber Days, where it's all, all about telcos, it's nothing GIS related in specific. Uh, but this is where we also um, like get in touch with, uh, with potential customers. And is it mostly um, GIS opportunities that you're, that you're working against, or are you seeing kind of more? Oppor broader opportunities. There are opportunities, uh, but still our focus is GIS, and sure. that's that's our like USP is, is the strength right. of FME, and our strength is we know GIS, we know spatial data, but still we do have customers that work like completely non-spatial. But it's it's Definitely. maybe a bit more by chance <laughs> that we get right. in touch with them. And so when they come to uh, to being uh, kind of limited in their ability to handle the technical infrastructure mm -hmm. you're introducing uh, and, 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 and transitioning the client over to uh, to take care of that outsourced hosting yeah, yeah pretty much I mean we do have like a handshake process now that we as soon as we see the demand for like uh, the capabilities that Florian is offering we get that their team involved uh, because it's pretty quickly gets pretty technical so and then it's uh, it's better the specialists get in and talk to the clients. And so how did you get to be such a specialist? Where's your uh, expertise come from? Uh, yeah, so before Contera, um, I've been working as a cloud solution architect. So Excellent. I've always been close to like the technique and um, I love to work with like new technologies and um, modern techniques. So um, that's where I come from. And so I love to, to take take over the challenge at Conterra to uh, drive these topics even further, um, like to, to move more customers into the cloud, into more high performance and scalable environments, so to enable the customers as well, right? Yeah. And so what do you tell them, what do you tell them they're going to, I mean, what is it, is it a level of uh, service? Are you giving them, uh, is there, is there uh, you know, levels of service or is it or do you are you offering kind of one specific as a package mm, we we do have packages um, and they often differ in that sense that we not only offer managed fme but we do also offer, offer uh, managed uh, s3 components for example oh, yeah, as yeah, well right. or or uh, our own managed products that are really um, working as a synergy, uh, we do, for example, offer uh, monitoring capabilities. We we do have an, an own product uh, that's called Service Monitor uh, that 
really reliably monitors and, part, and measures. <laughs> so is he scalable? Can he? When 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 does he max out? Is he? <laughs> can you can you can you keep throwing things more things on him? Is he? Uh, so yes. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. I guess. Uh, I mean, obviously, we are always looking for people and uh, looking to grow as well. But um, yeah, I mean, so far it's, we haven't had any complaints from our customers that we can't like take them. More. And so, what's the uh, so culturally? I mean, I, I think every every country, every region has a has a different mindset. And culturally, is is outsourcing? Is there is there any resistance to outsourcing? Is it culturally acceptable in? Germany or Spain, for that matter, or as opposed to maybe somewhere else. Do you know? Um, well, I think so. It is there is there is a drive to do that because um, because of the limitations limit, limitations that they they don't find the right people to do it themselves in some cases. So they and is that a, is that a problem in Germany currently? The lack of I would think so. Yes, I think I think it's, uh, it's a lack talent. of people. Yeah, especially I mean, especially in IT. I guess it's because everybody is uh, looking for IT specialists, and um, yeah, so there, there is a shortage in, in, uh, in the number of people that you, you can find. Yeah, yeah. But outsourcing is not like a simple task, right? Because it's not only to to choose like the right hosting infrastructure. It's, it's more than that. It's it's also about people and the processes and the organization, because. What would be like the obvious uh, thing is just to choose the best infrastructure I would to work in and just shift any responsib uh, responsibilities away, uh, but still having the entire freedom and that's not possible. So it's, um, that's in my opinion the main challenge in outsourcing activities that the customer must be ready to give away his responsibilities and uh, really use the standards of the provider to, to uh, use and leverage the synergies the provider is, is offering. Um, yeah, but that always comes uh, together with uh, yeah, giving up a kind of a freedom or, or, or choice. Um, yeah, but that's like a change in management and processes. Yeah. So how does it work with a client? Do you, um, do you stay with them after you after you sell them, and, or do you just hand them over? And then, if they want more service or more, how does it? How how do, what does the engagement look well, like? Well, the the like sort of account management still lies with the sales uh, within the sales with the sales team. team. So, yeah, so but, you but sell them and you yeah it's maintain still, the. Still, I mean, temp, depends a little bit on the situation on on the like also the size of the project or the customer, whether they get a dedicated account manager, or whether they like just be. Um, like taken care of by the project manager, so that depends a little bit. But the main responsibilities in developing the the customer still lies with the sales. And if they're outsourcing the operations to, then Florian's in that in that engagement as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We always like yeah. work as a team at Contera. Like we we have. So the, when you're having customer meetings to talk about next year, or the next, yeah. you are both working on behalf of uh, of the yeah, customer. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds it sounds like you guys have uh, are doing a great job growing. I mean, thirty years partner, of, yeah. uh, that's pretty good. And I know every time we're here, you guys are nearby. You're actually right be, <laughs> right over behind that camera. Uh, so we get I, I get to look at all the people coming to visit. Uh, it looks like you've had a very busy time. It was busy. Yes, still lots of people coming to compliment us and save on the on the last conference in Bonn. So that they had a good time there as well. So. Well, yeah, you, I think you guys were uh, part part of the. You yeah, were the, we were co-hosting together with yeah, Software. You were the ones that got everybody into trouble on the boat, <laughs> but we won't get into that. Yeah. <laughs> Better not. No, this is great. Well, thanks yeah. very much for coming by. It's great to see you again. Best thanks of luck. Uh, and uh, I, I've heard rumors that it might not be in Germany next time, but it's uh, nearby. Uh, maybe we'll be there, but I don't know. <laughs> well, we haven't been invited either. <laughs> so, well, thanks very much for coming by. Thank you. Thank you. If your business would like to be featured in a future event, contact us today.